The United Arab Emirates national cricket team Arabic, is the team that represents the United Arab Emirates in international cricket. They are governed by the Emirates Cricket Board which became an affiliate member of the International Cricket Council in 1989 and an associate member the following year. Since 2005, the ICC's headquarters have been located in Dubai. One of the emerging One Day International teams, the UAE won the ACC Trophy on four consecutive occasions between 2000 and 2006, and were runners up in the other three times the tournament has been played in 1996, 1998, and 2008. They won the ICC Trophy in 1994, and played their first Otis that year, later playing in the 1996 Cricket World Cup. Other ODI matches came in the 2004 and 2008 Asia Cups. At the 2014 World Cup qualifier, the UAE placed second behind Scotland, qualifying for the 2015 World Cup and gaining ODI, and therefore 2020 international status until 2018. In April 2018, the ICC decided to grant full 2020 international status to all its members. Therefore, all 2020 matches played between the United Arab Emirates and other ICC members after 1 January 2019 will be a full T20I. History Early days In 1892, the United Kingdom took responsibility of the sheikdoms, and cricket was introduced by the British Army in what is now the UAE, but was then known as the "'Trucial States". The game spread during World War II, as personnel from the British Royal Air Force and other Commonwealth forces which included first class and club cricketers from Australia and New Zealand stationed in cities such as Ajman, Al Ain, Dubai and Sharjah, continued their favourite pastime. The pitches installed by them around the air base in Sharjah were used by British and other foreign nationals after the war ended. Sharjah residents began playing the Dubai residents in the local derbies which were held in Dubai. The garden city of Al Ain has the oldest cricket council in the whole of the UAE. The popularity of the game declined after independence in 1971. However, when South Asians began settling in the country, they brought with them a wish to play cricket. The local Arab population, educated in India and Pakistan, set up clubs and domestic tournaments began in the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> Topic: Making of the national side. The first match was played by the UAE national side in February 1976 against Pakistan International Airlines in Sharjah. The visitors scored 345 fifths from their 50 overs and the UAE were on 88 quarters from 28 overs when the game was abandoned due to rain. Wealthy locals began investing in the sport and an international standard cricket ground was constructed in Sharjah. The Sharjah Cricket Association Stadium hosted its first international event in 1984 when India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka contested the Asia Cup. The venue has gone on to host almost 200 Otis and four Test matches, the Test matches having been held there due to security concerns in Pakistan. The Emirates Cricket Board was established in 1989 and gained affiliate membership of the ICC the same year. They were quickly promoted to associate member status the following year. Also in 1990, the national side returned to action, twice losing heavily to the Netherlands. These heavy defeats showed that much work needed to be done if the UAE were to be successful in the 1994 ICC Trophy and the ECB adopted a controversial policy. Topic: 1994 ICC Trophy Hoping to form a successful national side in time for the tournament in Kenya, the ECB attracted several players with first-class experience in India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka to take up employment in the country so that they could satisfy the residential requirements to represent the UAE in the tournament, with just one native Arab selected in the shape of Sultan Zarawani, who captained the side, the UAE won the trophy and thus qualified for the 1996 World Cup. 
UAE had beaten Kenya in the final, and the Kenyan players and cricket board were very vocal in their anger at being defeated by what they and other observers described as a team of imported mercenaries. Whilst the ICC remained relatively silent on the controversy, the national team eligibility requirements were strongly tightened for all future ICC sanctioned tournaments. First Otis The UAE played their first Otis in 1994 when they played against India and Pakistan in the Austral Asia Cup, which they also hosted. They finished last in a tri-series against Kenya and the Netherlands the same year and also finished last in a tournament against the A-sides of India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka in 1995. They returned to ODI cricket in the 1996 World Cup where they lost all matches except the one against the Netherlands, which was the first ever ODI between two associate members of the ICC. Later in 1996, the UAE were runners up to Bangladesh in the first ACC trophy. The tightened eligibility rules meant that they were unable to repeat their 1994 success when they finished 10th in the 1997 ICC trophy in Malaysia. They were beaten by Bangladesh in the semi-finals of the 1998 ACC Trophy. Topic: 21st century. Topic: 2000 to 2009. With Bangladesh being promoted to ICC full membership, the UAE began to establish themselves as the top associate side in Asia, though they often fell short against the top associates in Europe and North America, a position that remains to this day. They won the ACC Trophy in 2000 and 2002, beating Hong Kong and Nepal in the respective finals, but finished fifth in the 2001 ICC Trophy in Canada. UAE hosted the 2004 ICC Six Nations Challenge and finished fifth, level on points with four other teams. The year was a busy one for the UAE cricketers as they played the first Intercontinental Cup match against Nepal, with Ali Asad taking nine wickets in the first innings. They beat Malaysia later in the tournament but lost to Canada in the semi-finals. They also won the ACC Trophy again, beating Oman in the final. They returned to ODI cricket, losing to India and Sri Lanka in the first round of the Asia Cup, and finished fourth in the Hong Kong Sixes, beating India and South Africa on the way. They reached the semi-finals of the ICC Intercontinental Cup again in 2005, also playing a series against England A at Sharjah, losing all four matches. The 2005 ICC Trophy in Ireland saw them finish sixth. They beat Hong Kong in the final of the 2006 ACC Trophy, but began their 2006 ICC Intercontinental Cup campaign with an innings defeat by Namibia. The campaign continued with a draw against Scotland and a defeat by Ireland, again by an innings. They finished fourth in the first ACC 2020 Cup in 2007. Their campaign in the 2007 08 ICC Intercontinental Cup was unsuccessful, with just one win against Bermuda in their seven matches. Things went better for them in Division II of the World Cricket League in Windhoek in 2007, winning the tournament after beating Oman in the final. They again played in the Asia Cup in 2008, losing to Bangladesh and Sri Lanka in the first round. Their 2008 ACC Trophy elite began with a shock defeat by Saudi Arabia, their first ACC Trophy defeat since the 1998 semi-final. They lost to Hong Kong in the final, ending a run of four consecutive titles. The UAE hosted and were runners-up at the 2009 ACC 2020 Cup, losing the final to Afghanistan after winning four group matches and accounting for Oman in their semi-final. Topic 2010 present. In October 2010, the team announced that it had hired Kabir Khan to become its coach. Khan had great success with the Afghan team during his one-year stint as they became eligible to play Otis. Kabir Khan also stated that his aim was to help UAE qualify for the 2012 ICC World 2020. In April 2011, the UAE hosted and won Division II of the World Cricket League without losing a match. In June, July 2011, they played Kenya at Nairobi for the first round of 2011–13 ICC Intercontinental Cup. In December, the UAE participated in the 2011 ACC 2020 Cup in Nepal. 
Then in 2013, they travelled to Scotland to compete in the 2013 Cricket World Cup qualifier, the final event of the 2009–13 World Cricket League. UAE finished third in the 2013 ACC 2020 Cup which after defeating Hong Kong in the playoff for third place. In November, they hosted 2013 ICC World 2020 qualifier and finished fourth after losing to Nepal in the playoff for third place, and qualified for the 2014 ICC World 2020, defeating the Netherlands by 10 runs in the quarterfinal. Aftab Mohamed Nisar is the captain of UAE's under-17 side. UAE participated in the 2014 ICC World 2020 but were unsuccessful in the tournament, going without a win. UAE finished second in the 2014 ACC Premier League and qualified for the 2014 ACC Championship. They also qualified for 2015 Cricket World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. UAE qualified to play in the Cricket World Cup after a lapse of almost 20 years. Unlike other teams in the tournament, the squad of players mainly consisted of semi-professionals. The team registered their highest ODI total ever at the 2015 Cricket World Cup in a group stage match played against Zimbabwe in Nelson, New Zealand. However, they failed to register a win and were eliminated from the 2015 Cricket World Cup with six losses out of six matches in Pool B. This was their first win against a full member side. Topic: <laughs> International Grounds. International contribution by UAE grounds Updated 3 November 2016 Infrastructure In terms of infrastructure, the UAE have the best stadiums as compared to other associate members, Sheikh Zayed Cricket Stadium in Abu Dhabi, DSC Cricket Stadium, Dubai and Sharjah Cricket Association Stadium, Sharjah, which has hosted around 200 Otis and Test matches. International stadiums in Ajman and Al Ain are currently under development. The following are the main cricket stadiums in UAE Sharjah Cricket Association Stadium, Sharjah Sheikh Zayed Cricket Stadium, Abu Dhabi Dubai Cricket Council Ground No. 1, Dubai Dubai Cricket Council Ground No. 2, Dubai ICC Global Cricket Academy 1, Dubai ICC Global Cricket Academy 2, Dubai Ajman International Cricket Stadium under construction, Ajman Al Ain International Cricket Stadium under construction, Al Ain Tournament history Topic World Cup Topic ICC World Cup qualifier nineteen seventy nine to nineteen eighty six not eligible, not an ICC member nineteen ninety did not participate nineteen ninety four winners 1997 to 10 th place 2001 to 5 th place 2005 to 6 th place 2009 to 7 th place 2014 runner up qualified for 2015 cricket world cup 2018 to 6 th place topic icc world 2020 qualifier 2010 to 3 road place 2013 to 4 th place 2015 to 13 th place topic intercontinental cup 2004 semi finals 2005 semi finals 2006 first round 2009-10 shield second place 2011 to 13 fourth place topic world cricket league 
2007 Division II – Champions 2009 World Cup Qualifier – Seventh place 2011 Division II – Champions 2011–13 WCL Championship – Third place 2014 World Cup Qualifier – Runner-up 2018 ICC World Cricket League Division II – Champions Asia Cup 1983–1988, not eligible, not an ACC member 1990–91, did not participate 1995, did not participate 1997, did not qualify 2000, did not qualify 2004, first round 2008, first round 2010, did not qualify 2012, did not qualify 2014 did not qualify 2016 first round fifth place topic <laughs> ACC championship 2014 qualified topic <laughs> <laughs> ACC fast track countries tournament 2004 – Runners-up 2005 – Winners 2006 – Runners-up ACC Premier League 2014 – Runners-up ACC Trophy 1996 – Runners-up 1998 – Semi-finals 2000 – Winners 2002 – Winners 2004 – Winners 2006 – Winners 2008 – Elite – Runners-up 2010 – Elite – Sixth place 2012 – Winners shared trophy with Nepal ACC 2020 Cup 2007 to 4 th place 2009 runners up 2011 to 5 th place 2013 to 3 road place topic ACC under 19 Cup 2014–7 th place. Topic coaching staff Director of Cricket, Vijay Yadav Head Coach, Russell Domingo Assistant Head Coach, Peter Fulton Batting Coach, Tilakaruthna Dilshan Batting Consultant, Brian Lara Spin Bowling Coach, Paul Adams Fast Bowling Coach, Jason Gillespie Bowling Consultant, Darren Goff Fielding Coach, Julian Fountain Wicket Keeping Coach, Chris Reed Strength and Conditioning Coach, Jade Roberts Physiotherapist, John Gloucester Performance Analyst, Laxmi Narayanan. Topic: Records and statistics. International match summary: United Arab Emirates. Last updated the 22nd of October 2018. Topic: One Day Internationals. Highest team total: 306 v Scotland, the 23rd of January 2018 at ICC Academy One, Dubai. Highest individual score: 132 by Karam Khan v Afghanistan, the 30th of November 2014 at ICC Global Cricket Academy, Dubai. Best innings bowling: 6/34 by Zahor Khan v Ireland, the 2nd of March 2017 at ICC Global Cricket Academy, Dubai. OD record versus other nations. Records complete to ODI number 4034. Last updated the 30th of August 2018. Topic: 2020 internationals. Highest team total: 183 v Papua New Guinea, the 14th of April 2017 at Sheikh Zayed Stadium, Abu Dhabi. 
Highest individual score, 117 asterisk by Shaman Anwar v Papua New Guinea, the 14th of April 2017 at Sheikh Zayed Stadium, Abu Dhabi. Best innings bowling, three ninths by Rohan Mustafa v Oman, the 22nd of November 2015 at Sheikh Zayed Stadium, Abu Dhabi. 20i record versus other nations. Records complete to T20i number 700. Last updated the 22nd of October 2018. Topic ICC Trophy Highest team total 339th v Bermuda the 27th of February 1994 at Nairobi Club Ground Highest individual score 126 not out by Azar Said the 25th of February 1994 at Aga Khan Sports Club Ground Nairobi Best innings bowling, 5.30 seconds by Ahmed Nadim v USA, 1 July 2005 at the Meadow, Downpatrick. <laughs> Overall Highest team total, 459 quarters v Brunei, 14 August 2006 at Kinrara Academy Oval, Kuala Lumpur, Highest individual score, 213 not out by Arshad Ali v Brunei, 14 August 2006 at Kinrara Academy Oval, Kuala Lumpur Best innings bowling, 974 by Ali Asad v Nepal, 25 March 2004 at Sharjah Cricket Association Stadium <laughs> World records Highest ever partnership for 7th wicket in World Cup history Amjad Javed and Shaman Anwar 107 v Ireland, Amjad Javed and Nasir Aziz 107 v West Indies, UAE became the first team to score 100 plus runstand for the 7th wicket in World Cup history, thus, Amjad Javed is the only player in World Cup history to involve in two 100 plus run stands for the 7th wicket. Karam Khan is the oldest player to score an ODI century as well as the oldest player to score his maiden ODI century at the age of 43 years and 162 days. Current squad The following list contains the 15 players in UAE's squad for the 2018 Cricket World Cup qualifier, Rohan Mustafa C. Ashfaq Ahmed Qadir Ahmed Shaman Anwar Muhammad Buddha Imran Haider Amir Hayat Zahor Khan Adnan Mufti Muhammad Naveed Ahmed Raza Balam Shabar Ramiz Shahzad Chirag Suri Muhammad Usman See also United Arab Emirates national women's cricket team